killer whales live in all oceans of the world, from the farthest reaches of the open sea to coastal waters near ice and land. Social mammals, killer whales live in groups called pods. With powerful up and down thrusts of their tails, the pod glides silently through water, searching for food. Do you know what killer whales eat? They eat fishes, seals, and other animals. A healthy adult killer whale is the top predator in the ocean. It can prey on anything that lives in the sea and has no predators of its own. In fact, killer whales get their common name because they hunt other types of whales. Much like packs of wolves or prides of lions, killer whales often hunt cooperatively in their pods. Working together, they encircle their prey. Do you know why killer whales are black and white? If you said camouflage, you're right. Killer whales have disruptive coloration. They are black on their backs, white on their bellies, and have white eye patches and gray saddle patches. This disrupts the whale's shape and size, and in the ocean's flickering filtered sunlight, other animals may not recognize the killer whale as one large predator until it's too late. SeaWorld has the most successful killer whale breeding program in the world. The very first baby Shamu was born in 1985. Since then, more than 20 killer whales have been born at SeaWorld parks. This unparalleled breeding success contributes significant information to studies of killer whale reproduction, growth, and development. In fact, as the result of more than 15 years of research on killer whale reproductive biology, SeaWorld veterinarians were the first to artificially inseminate a killer whale. Nakai, born in 2001, was the first killer whale calf conceived through this groundbreaking technique, which holds the potential to help countless other species, many threatened and endangered. SeaWorld veterinarians use a sonogram machine to check the growth of a baby killer whale before it is even born. This technique helps predict when the birth will occur. A killer whale is pregnant for about 17 months, yeah. nearly twice as long as for humans. Calves are born below water, typically tail first, and must swim to the surface to take their first breath. Killer whale calves nurse for several months. By collecting and analyzing milk samples from lactating female whales, veterinarians created a formula for killer whale milk in case care is needed for a stranded or orphaned killer whale calf. All the information that's been learned about killer whale reproduction, growth and development at SeaWorld is shared with other scientists to enhance future studies. How does SeaWorld train killer whales? The key to successful animal training is building a strong and rewarding relationship between trainer and animal. Trainers and animals spend most of their day together. Daily enrichment sessions, including play, exercise and learning, encourage the growing connection and trust between trainers and animals. Play sessions provide time in the day for interacting with games and toys. Exercise sessions consist of high energy behaviors such as fast swims, jumps, dives, and breaches. During learning sessions, trainers provide formal training and condition specific behaviors. Interactions contribute to animal well being and are vital for many husbandry procedures. Husbandry is a word we use to describe health care for animals. Ever wonder what it's like to care for an 8,000 pound killer whale? How do we know if they're healthy and growing? Just like when we visit a doctor for an exam, killer whales receive regular checkups from SeaWorld veterinarians. SeaWorld weighs each killer whale and also measures the whale's length, girth, flippers, dorsal fin, and flukes to help determine growth rates. For healthy teeth and gums, we visit a dentist. Killer whales receive poolside dental exams. Trainers check teeth, tongue, and gums. The whales may even get a teeth cleaning. Although most killer whale populations appear to be in no danger at the moment, scientists are concerned for their future. More and more fish are being taken from the sea for human consumption. Competition for limited fish stocks could threaten killer whales and other animal populations worldwide. To protect whales, people must keep their environment clean. Pesticides and other chemical pollutants can become concentrated in the blubber of whales, causing numerous health problems. Lost fishing nets and other debris can entangle and kill whales and other marine animals. By reducing our consumption of natural resources, by recycling, and by carefully discarding trash, we can help protect all wildlife, including killer whales. Over the years, millions of people have visited SeaWorld to witness the awe and wonder of one of nature's most fascinating animals, the killer whale. SeaWorld hopes your close-up experience today leads to a heightened appreciation of the importance of conserving marine animals and preserving habitats. For more than 40 years, the Anheuser-Busch Adventure Parks have initiated and supported wildlife conservation, 
research and education efforts at home and around the world. Visit the Animals website at SeaWorld.org to discover more about wildlife and why conservation matters. The SeaWorld and Bush Gardens Conservation Fund was created to strengthen and expand the park's existing conservation efforts while also providing guests an easy, direct way to make a difference for wildlife. Visit swbgconservationfund.org to learn more about the fund's mission, projects, and how you can get involved.